when I was working on my album, Life in 1472. I was headed to the studio for the DMX session. I was going to the studio in New York to hear DMX do his verse. We tried to make it a marketing thing by having an interviewer from, I think the Source magazine come and be like a fly on the wall at the session so that you could, you could talk about me recording and how the process was and all of this. So it goes like this. The session was whatever time it was. So the writer gets to the studio before DMX and DMX shows up. At this time, DMX is walking around with his dogs and he got both dogs. But by the time I got to the studio, the reporter had gotten robbed and DMX basically robbed the reporter with his dog. No guns, just the dog. DMX came in and DMX started questioning <laughs> the reporter and told the reporter to run his shit, take off his whatever he had on. And he had his dog basically on the dude, making him do this. And as I tell these 30th anniversary stories, I got a lot of crazy stories. A lot of shit I can't tell, but this one I feel like I have to tell. R.I.P. my man DMX. Pun was already double platinum. We stopped mm. at the gas station and started talking to DMX. Some dude walked in. And DMX said, one second. He walks up to the guy and robs the guy in the gas station, sticks him up. <laughs> While we just left an arena with thousands of people screaming his name. And so fucking crazy. I'm watching him in the battle yesterday. He was like, this was this stick up anthem. This was this stick up kid anthem. I'm like, yo, yo, DMX was really. <laughs> Really fucking crazy. Like, we start looking at each other like, yo, this nigga is crazy. We was down in Miami, right? Uh -huh. So I come downstairs, and I see X. He's sitting out in front in, in, in the bins. He's like, yo, Rue. He's like, yo, Rue, come, yo, no, let's ride. Let's, we out. So I'm like, all right, let's, where we going? You know what I'm saying? He's like, come, let's just ride. I got some weed. You know what I'm saying? We going to ride. We going to have some fun. Woo -woo. So I'm like, all right, I'm riding with you. Let's go. Jumps in the car with him. We ride out. Come to find out, he stole the car that we riding in. Like this, 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 this is fucked up. Is he did Woodstock? You know what I mean? To come from my hood, walking around with a pit bull, yeah. robbing people with his dog. That being doing movies with Jet Li. It's, it's, <laughs> he used to rob people with the dog. Yeah, X was crazy. He used to, <laughs> he used to, his dog. When he he he's a dog lover. Right. He loved his dog. He loved all. of but he had a dog, Boomer. Yeah. It was dangerous. <laughs> you ever seen him with Boomer? You know, it's with, going he, down. Robbing, <laughs> robbing everything with his dog. <laughs> Not arm robbery. This arm robbery. Right, dog, dog robbery. <laughs> yeah, Jermaine Dupree's story sounds about right. I mean, we saw Jada Kiss say the same thing. DMX robbed somebody with his dog. And, you know, DMX, we all know he was 100% crazy and he was about the shit that he said he was. You ain't never heard nobody come out and say he was a snitch, he's a rat, he's a punk, he's a bitch. You know how every rapper you can think of, there's always some uh, broke dude on YouTube saying that they went to school with him and he wasn't what he said he was. Well, we ain't never see that with X and I don't think there's a soul live that questioned X's credibility. I mean, you heard it from Jada Kiss, the Fat Joe, the Ja Rule. You know, everybody got a DMX robbery story. And, you know, DMX, God bless his soul, you know, he passed not too long ago. I want to say, was it, it's been what, two years now? You believe he had overdosed or whatever the case may be. You know, that's been well documented throughout his life that, you know, he had his struggles with drugs. D DMX is definitely who he says he is. If I saw X, you know, and I was walking down the street, I'm definitely crossing that motherfucker. I ain't got time, especially with a nigga with two hungry pit bulls. I'm good. You know, you got dudes like, there's always going to be a Debo or some bald nigga that, you know, is just flat out like that. And, you know, X just happens to be the one that rap. But anyway, let me know how y'all feel about it in the comments. And of course, if you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe.